You know, I've been hearing a lot of back and forth about how uh, whether uh, the Walmart greeters or whoever is allowed to stop you and check your receipt or whether or not the customer is supposed to show the receipt if the Walmart greeter asks or the loss prevention or whoever. Well, I'm here to tell you that you do not have to show your receipt. Now, keep in mind, the person checking receipts is only allowed to ask you for your receipt if you have anything in your cart that is not in a shopping bag. If it's in a, if all your items are in, are in shopping bags, then they're not supposed to ask you for your receipt. Now, if you have, say, a 30-gallon tote with the lid on it, obviously that's not going to fit in a shopping bag, so... Not only are they going to ask for your receipt, but they're just going to double check to make sure that there's nothing inside that tote to make sure that you're not stealing anything. But, let's just say you have uh, a thing of laundry detergent in your car that's not in the bag. They ask for your receipt. You don't have to show them your receipt. All you have to do is say no and keep on walking. They're not allowed to stop you. They're not allowed to detain you or anything like that. Also, uh, they're not allowed to check for receipts if the lines start forming. So if, if they stop uh, someone who's ahead of you and ask for the receipt, and all of a sudden a you see a couple other people standing behind them, they start forming a line. At that point, they're supposed to just stop checking receipts and let everybody go because they don't want to hold nobody up. That, that's store policy. So if you've ever wondered why the person in front of you uh, didn't get the receipt checked, but then all of a sudden they're stopping you, first, you need to consider if you have any unbagged items. If all your items are in bags and they're still stopping you, then that's, th that's on them, not on you. I mean, sometimes you'll have associates that are biased. I, I personally haven't seen it. But, you know, once in a while you'll, you'll have someone up front who may be biased. You know, maybe he sees a couple of teenagers and just automatically thinks that they're just trying to steal something. But regardless of what that associate thinks, store policy still says if their items are in a shopping bag, do not ask for the receipt. You know, and if your receipt is on your phone, like let's say you're have the app that allows you to scan and go. It might ask to see your device, phone, tablet, whatever you happen to be using, but they're not allowed to, they're not allowed to touch your phone. They're not allowed to ask you to, to hold their phone. None of that. They're only allowed to ask you to show them. They're not, they are not physically allowed to touch your phone. So if they ask you, because once, because you might run into that where they might ask you, uh, just tell them, no, I'm not going to let you hold my phone. I'm just going to show you. And I've also heard of instances where, again, I haven't seen this in person, but I have heard of instances where uh, whoever is at the door will physically block somebody from leaving to check the receipt, to try to force them to do it. That's against company policy. Again, you do not have to show them your receipt. The company policy is if you, like I said, if you say no, they have to let you go. I mean, they're not even allowed to accuse you of stealing because for all they know, you probably just forgot to pay for one of the items. You know, if you, like I said, item might not be in a shopping bag or let's say you have a case of water or a case of soda or TV on the little bottom shelf of your shopping cart. You know, they would also have to stop you for that and just double check your receipt. Let's say, again, I'll use a laundry detergent example again. Let's say they check your receipt and they don't see your laundry detergent on the receipt. Um, at that point, you would need to have a member of management help you out with that. But yeah, moral of the story is if you do not want them to check your receipt, then just tell them no. And if you're one of those people who they get nervous about getting your receipt checked, 
my recommendation would be to go when it's busy. Because like I said, they're not supposed to check receipts if there's lines forming. Or, or if they know that a line is going to form if they start asking receipts. Because let's say it's 2 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. You know, that's just going to be pretty busy. So just keep that in mind. 